a lot of people are jealous of Aquarius. And I'm not saying that from conceit. I'm not saying that from any of those places of like, you know, arrogance or ego or any of that. I'm saying that because time and time and time and time and time and time again, an Aquarius hits me up and tells me about another person that has done some jealous shit, you know? And I know they're telling the truth because I experienced this ever since I was a little child, okay? I remember going through this three and four years old. So this person that made mention of this is like, why do we get so much jealousy? We minding our business, skipping along, being free spirited, and therein lies the problem. But first, let's do our introduction. I am Queen Aset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, pass it on to somebody else who might like it too, and drop us a positive comment in the comment section. And stick around to the end because I'm going to read and respond to two of my favorite positive comments from previous videos. If you would like to get a reading done, please email me. If you would like to be a patron on my Patreon page, please check out the link underneath this video. If you want to hit me up on social media, all that is also underneath this video. Okay? So let's get back to Aquarius and all this jealousy. So yeah, people be jealous. And you know something, like most of the Aquarius that have said this to me, they're like, Queen, it doesn't make any sense. I'm not particularly you know, that rich, or I'm not particularly got that much clout or influence or power. I'm, you know, a lot of people, they'll tell me I'm just free spirited mind in my business. And that is the problem. So many people don't get that. One of the things I've come across that every time I've come across one of these jealous people, they have the same thing in, in common. They're unhappy happy with their own life every last one of them and i'm looking like this is not a coincidence that every last one of these motherfuckers is miserable and here i am skipping along free-spirited for the most part i mean we've all had traumas or you know things happen to us bad days or whatever the case is but for the most part most aquarius we skip along, we're free-spirited, we go to our own drum, we mind our business, you know, and people who are incapable or who won't allow themselves to be capable of that are jealous about it. Somebody said to me the other day, an Aquarius, that every time she gets with a Capricorn, they have the same problem. And I was like, they want to control you, right? <laughs> they want to put the birdie in the cage and they want you to sing only for them. And she was like, how did you know that? And I'm like, because so many Aquarius talk about that same issue with Capricorn specifically, but in other cases too. It's like people are always trying to clip your wings or keep you for themselves or they're jealous because they can't be that free. There's a line... And one of my favorite, I don't know if it was a movie or a book. And she said, people get mad when you're too proud or too free. And I thought about it and I was like, too free. Yeah. Whenever you're free and you're happy, Aquarius, free spirit, Aquarius, people that aren't, people that are miserable with themselves, hate you. <laughs> they hate you for being free. They hate you for being happy. And this happens even with people who aren't Aquarius. Some people will hate you just because you're successful, just because you're doing well. But like I said before, it's always those same miserable people who are unhappy with their own lives. People who are happy with their life, people who are doing it, people who are, you know, successful, they're not spending their time jealous of other people. People who are successful and are doing well are congratulating other people because they're fine. They know that they're secure. They sitting on top of whatever they're sitting on top of and they're fine. They don't have a need 
to look at you and be envious and uh, she thinks she cute and look at this and look at that. They don't have time for that. They're too busy thinking about their next move. They're too busy thinking about maintaining what they're on top of. I don't have time to worry about another person because I got this stack of books to read. <laughs> I got readings to do. I got things to do. I don't have time to focus on what the next person is doing and clocking their movements. That's a miserable person's game. They're not clocking their own movements because they're too busy clocking everybody else's. So those people are in general not as happy and not as successful. And that's why they're jealous and angry with the Aquarius. I see it all the time. And they always blame it on you. They always act like it's your fault. You did something. You're unprofessional. You're unconventional. You're this. You're that. But I get to be me, dog. <laughs> I get to be me. And me is fine. I don't have to be you. And why are you so worried about me? And this is one of the things that I've come to find with many Aquarius when they have a similar situation. It's so much to the point now where I don't even pay it any mind anymore. I come across it here and there, not very often anymore. I used to come across it a lot more when my circle was bigger, but now that I'm older and my circle is really small, I don't come across it as much, but when I do come across it, I ignore it. I totally just ignore it. I remember um, this one girl, she uh, told another friend of mine that she can do everything I know how to do as far as magic is concerned. So she started to do readings. She didn't know how to do readings and she started doing readings. And after a while, she started getting into little altercations with people because her readings were either not accurate or something would go wrong with the reading, something along those lines. So then another person, a third party, because I wasn't privy to any of this information, a third party said that she was upset because her readings were not that good. And I was like, look, instead of worrying about my backyard, she needs to study symbolism, study the cards. You can be just as good as me or another person or even better if you do the same damn work. Just do your work. So most of the time, that's what it is. Um, the Aquarius is very free and people, you wouldn't believe how many people live their life repressed. People talk to me all the time about their repressions. And you would not believe how many things that people don't do or hold back or don't go for because of other people. When somebody's free, that means they're going to follow their dreams. They're going to follow, you know, the things that their heart, you know, wants to do. I was telling a Virgo the other day that I have followed every dream I ever had. I followed my heart. And even when I wasn't right or I made a mistake, I did what I wanted to do. My spirit was free. And a lot of people are too afraid to allow themselves to do that. So when they look at the Aquarius that is free, especially if you are free, positive, happy Aquarius, they can't stand your ass. <laughs> they're spending so much time mad and hating on what you're doing that they're not realizing all they got to do is take that same energy, put that same energy towards their own life and they can turn things around. So Aquarius, the next time you find out somebody's jealous of you, and it will happen. <laughs> For many of us, it will happen again. The next time that you find out that somebody is jealous of you, just remember that that is a miserable person and that they're unhappy with what they're looking at in the mirror. It has nothing to do really with you. It has to do with their reflection. So don't take it personally. Don't try to change their mind. Don't fight with them. Just detach. <laughs> and tell them, move, move. <laughs> Get from by me, move, you know. Tell them to move out the way because all that energy is not going to do nothing for you. And um, I do see this a lot, unfortunately. I get messages about this like a couple times a week. People, you know, different Aquarius telling me that they experienced this with siblings, 
Uh, one girl was talking about how her mom is jealous of her. I was like, your mom? You know, and yeah, that does happen. You know, um, sibling rivalries. Uh, one of my lovers told me she was jealous of me. And I was sitting there like, you can't be with me and be jealous of me. You got to pick a struggle. <laughs> you got to pick one or the other. Uh, and I'm single, so we <laughs> we all know which one I picked. But yeah, like, that's not cool. All right, so I'm going to do two positive comments. The first one is from I'm misunderstood. I think this is I am misunderstood. And this person said at 40 to 50, it may be too late for Jeffree Star where other people won't believe him. Just like the boy who cried wolf. I agree with you 100%. Um, I was saying the other day, maybe between 40 and 50, Jeffrey would grow up and stop some of the bullshit that he's doing and start being more of a human being because I do see more in him than he's exhibiting. And um, I'm understood is like, mm -mm. <laughs> 40 and 50, people might not be trying to hear about it. And that's very true. Um, people might not. He, you know, his, his stands and fans... Um, some people will hang in there. Some people will hang in there with you no matter what you do. And some people are going to be like, look, nah, we're not even believing you at this point. But that's the risk that you run when you continue to do things that are messed up like that. Shirley. Hey, Shirley. Shirley Alexander. Shirley said, hello, faithful Aquarius over here. Gang, gang, gang. Last time I asked for the faithful Aquarius to please stand up. And Shirley stood up. Um, there are quite a few in the comments section. Somebody was questioning if Aquarius could be faithful. And we have quite a few in the comments section. So that's what's up. Uh, I think there was questioning if air signs could be faithful is what it was. And it was quite a few that have come forward. Aquarius and other signs. So that's what's up. All right, guys. Please come back soon because I have so much more to say. See you later.